What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and today we're taking a look at the Melvin Lee Davis preamp by Knox. Now, to be honest, I don't want to call this only a preamp or a bass pedal because there's so many features in here that's kind of crazy. So let's take a look at the controls. Here on the lower right, that is the on off switch for the pedal and that enables the lower row of controls as well as the master volume. Now, for EQ section, we have bass, boost and cut, mids, boost and cut, and that works together with the frequency selector of the mids. And then we have a treble, boost and cut. The foot switch on the left turns on and off the drive section, and you control that with these two knobs here. The one on the right controls the amount of drive, and the blend mixes the clean signal with the distorted signal. And I have to say right away, it is a pretty useful drive section. It is not like obnoxious, it is very useful to thicken up the sound and give you some warmth. On the left side of the pedal, we have an XLR out, as well as an auxiliary in, and a headphone jack, which means that you can practice silently with an MP3 player device. On top of the pedal, we have a quarter inch input for your instrument, a pre or post EQ switch for the DI out, a ground lift, a through output, and that means that the sound going out of the through output is a completely clean signal going, for example, into your amp on stage. We have an out, which is the preamp out, that is the exact sound settings that you set here in the pedal are going out of that. And then we have your nine volt power supply socket and a slot for a USB cable. Now, before moving to a USB part, let me tell you that we have two switches right here. The left one turns on or off the cabinet simulation going out of the XLR out. And the one on the right turns on and off the cabinet simulation going out of the out or preamp out here in the top row. Even if the preamp is off and you have the switches in the upper position, the cap simulation is gonna be active. If you wanna turn it down, you just have to flip the switches to the lower position. By using the USB cable to connect it to your computer, you can access the Knox software to change some parameters. For example, you can change the preamp section of the pedal to choose between the Melvin Lee Davis preamp and an Aguilar amplifier. You can also change the noise gate as well as change the cap simulation happening here. And it comes loaded with four different caps. On top of that, when you connect the pedal with the USB to your computer, you can use this unit as an interface. So you can record directly to your DAW, like Logic or Pro Tools or whatever you're using, only using this. So it's a pretty convenient little unit to take when traveling. And you can also even reamp signals that you recorded by changing the mode on the software. Now, let's check out some sound samples. Mm-hmm. 
for the intro song of the video, I use the Aguilar AmpSim model as well as the Aguilar 8x10 cabinet that comes preloaded with the pedal. And I have to say that I really like the mid-range content of it as well as the low-end punch that it has. One feature that I really really like is the drive sound on this because it is not like a super full-on like roaring distortion type of sound but it's something that definitely allows you to thicken up the sound and bring some more warmth to you know to the mix and if I was to use it I would probably use it with the drive on all the time because it's kind of hard to match the volumes because you don't have a separate volume control for the drive you can kind of like move the blend to match the right volume level but it's kind of tricky so I would probably just turn on a slight saturated sound and leave it there all the time and it works great for that use and of course you have all the routing options here you can use the through output the regular out with or without the cap sim you can put the cap sim on the di or send it clean so there's so many possibilities you can have with this little pedal that it's kind of hard to criticize <laughs> there are two things that i do have to mention the first one is that the controls are kind of powerful so you have to be a bit careful when boosting or cutting especially on the Aguilar model because a little bit of a bass boost can be too much sometimes so you gotta be careful with that the other one is that I couldn't get it to work properly when I first got it when I took it out of the box because my computer would not recognize the pedal so I couldn't update the firmware or access the software to change the capsim and all the other stuff and the solution to that was to hold both foot switches and connect it to the USB at the same time. And unfortunately, that information was not on the website of Knox, so I had to Google and do some searching to find that. So if you get it and you're disappointed because it's not working as intended, do the trick of holding both switches while plugging it to USB and that should get you going. But overall, this is definitely a great little pedal or preamp or interface, I don't know what to call it. It's uh, kind of like a Swiss army knife and it's very uh, affordable considering all the options you have. It goes for like 150-ish euro here in Germany. If you liked the Melvin Lee Davis preamp, there's gonna be a link in the description below to learn more about it. Also, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.